All new tonight, a horse rescue farm in Coco could be forced to find a new home. The landlord is selling the property that the rescue and the nonprofit actually operates from. Yeah, and the nonprofit says they don't have enough money to buy it, but they hope the community can help. Fox 35's Deborah Cho has the story. Here at the corner of Arborwood and Aspen in Coco is a horse rescue farm. It's Heart Hidden Acres Rescues for Thoroughbred. That's where injured horses come to stay, and even some horses get saved from being slaughtered. But this sign right over here, that for sale sign, could mean that this farm might not be here for very long. Flick is one of our lesson ponies. He's blind in his left eye. We keep a, a face, fly mask on him. So this is Biebs. This is Tango. Come on, baby. So he came in as a two-year-old. These are just some of the horses at Heart Rescue Farm in Coco. It's a place where retired or injured horses can stay until they get healthy again. A trailer pulled up today with several horses from Texas that were saved from a kill pin. But all of this could be stopped if the nonprofit doesn't raise enough money to buy the property. So she she let us know that she was looking to kind of sell and, and kind of get out and retire. And so we started some fundraising. I spoke to the property owner, Donna Manfredi, on the phone. She took over the property years ago, and she told me she pulled a lot of money out of her own retirement funds to keep the facility running. But now it's her time to retire. She hopes whoever buys it will keep the mission alive. We're going to find the right partner or we're going to have the community's going to come together enough to help us purchase this land. Karen Dale and her daughters have been coming to Heart for two years and hope this will be here for years to come. We weren't anywhere near horses and we moved here and before we had any friends or anybody in the community that we knew, we came to Heart. What's your favorite part? Um, well, I like taking the horses in and out of the pasture and giving them their food in the afternoon. In the meantime, Don Kraut, who runs the facility now, is hoping for a miracle. I can't even think about it. It's so emotionally distressful. I just, I don't know what we would do. I don't know where we would go. Speaking with a property owner on the phone, she really emphasized to me that she really hopes that the buyer that comes through is someone that continues the mission here or hopes a nonprofit ends up getting the funds it needs. Now, right now, this property is for sale for $650,000. If they do get the right buyer, the nonprofit has 60 days notice. Reporting in Coco, Deborah Cho, Fox 35 News.